Hey everyone, I am Melanie and I am the voice that you have been hearing on the Onward videos that have been being posted for the past few months. So usually you're getting some pictures with my voice laid over those pictures talking to you about psychology and philosophy and spiritualism and deeper thoughts that I'm having while I'm on some hiking trails in preparation, training my body, training my mind so that I can through hike the Appalachian Trail in 2024. But today's a little bit different and it's reason to celebrate because it's our first Q&A. Yay! So that's reason to celebrate because that means that there are folks that are out there that are watching these videos and there are folks that are sending some questions in to the onwardhikingstory at gmail.com address. So thank you so much for that. I'm surprised and I'm shocked and I'm very grateful. So there's two questions that I'm seeing the most so far. And those questions are number one, um, are you doing this alone? And I cover that a lot in some previous videos and I will talk about that in videos to come. So I'm gonna skip number one and I'm gonna go right to number two, even though I'm a little bit embarrassed to be doing it because it is about going number two. <laughs> I really like the way that Onward fan Catherine worded the question. So what's the bathroom sitch going to be like on the six-month hiking adventure? Well, Catherine, first, thanks for your question. And my answer for you is that me and everyone else on the Appalachian Trail are going to be doing exactly the same thing that I'm doing during my training. When there isn't a privy in sight, we're peeing and we're pooping in the woods. I get that this is embarrassing for a lot of people. Some would be mortified at just even thinking about dropping their pants and squatting next to a tree, but it gets really uncomfortable if you have to hold it for hours or even days if you're out on a backpacking trip. So I highly recommend getting comfortable doing your duty in nature and creating yourself a potty next to a really large tree. Depending on the length of trip that I have going on, I have a bathroom bag. So usually it's a pretty minimalist bathroom bag and it includes um, a Ziploc baggie. And within that Ziploc baggie, I have another Ziploc baggie because we need something to put our dirty used tissue in. And speaking of tissue, I have some rolled up toilet paper. So that is all set to go. I have another baggie that has some wet wipes in it for cleanup, um, both down there and of my hands. And also I have some hand sanitizer spray. So this helps. Oh, one more thing and it's really important. Anything that you can grab and go that's going to work, I have a stick. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. There are some things to consider when using the bathroom outside and thank goodness there are things to consider. So one of the guidelines when you're hiking is called leave no trace and that just means that you need to be considerate and leave nature as you found it and take anything that you carry into nature back out with you. So that also applies to anything that's coming out of your bowels, your bladder, or your uterus. There are some leave no traced extremists out there that carry in some doggy bags and pick up after themselves like they would their pet. And they carry their own waste out uh, beyond their hiking trip back into their homes to properly dispose of their poo. Um, I will say that I am not that extreme, though I do respect them for doing that. I think that that's really brave and that means that they really care about the environment. Um, but what I've been taught that's a little bit easier than that is to make sure that I'm not near any water source. So I'd actually move up and beyond where I'm at right now so that there's no runoff of my business into this water source. So I'm protecting the uh, water, protecting the animals by doing that. And I also don't want to be around any people or campsites, um, tenting sites, trails. So normally if you're on a path on a trail, you'd want to move about 200 feet off of it. That's about 70 big steps according to the No Trace uh, website. Okay, let's talk about peeing. So if you're only doing water out, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Pretty much just go off of the trail that 200 feet and make sure that you're not going to squat around any poison oak or poison ivy, drop trowel and just let it go. Put any of your used toilet paper right back into your second bag that you already have in here. If it's a more call of duty 
type of situation that's happening, it gets a little bit more involved. So you're supposed to dig a hole. That's what the stick is for. Some people carry trowels. The hole has to be about six to eight inches deep. And then you're supposed to do this little dance over the hole and aim and fire. And that takes practice. And I have practiced. So I'll let that run through your imagination just a little bit. <laughs> Even more honestly though, what actually happens is that I've let things marinate just a little bit too long. And by the time I pull over off the trail, I'm ready to fertilize the plants with some urgency. <laughs> Can you tell I'm embarrassed talking about this? <laughs> anyway, I drop my pack, I squat, I admire the logs and the pebbles and the smell of roses that are all around me. And I sigh with relief that no one saw me most of the time, and then I get to work. <laughs> so the wet wipes and the toilet paper go into your baggie that you have that you can toss in the trash later. And then my handy dandy stick digs the hole pretty close by to where my plop landed. And there's nothing pretty about it. You, you push your poo into the hole and then you cover it up. You add more dirt and you add more leaves over the top of it so that um, it's, you're pretty sure that it's covered and no animals are going to dig it up because they do, they dig up your poo. Um, and sometimes I even put a rock on top of the extra dirt and extra leaves just to make sure that I'm not going to leave a surprise in case anybody else wanders in that general direction because it looks like it's the perfect poo spot for some reason. Um, yeah, and then another wet wipe, another squirt of hand sanitizer, and you are back in hiking form and probably even lighter. And that's it. There's really nothing to it. It's kind of just like going to the bathroom at home, except you're in the great outdoors. I really thought I'd be telling you some more poop jokes, but all the ones that I found, they really did stink, so. If you have a question about hiking adventures that you would like answered from Melanie's perspective in a Q&A video, please send an email to onwardhikingstory at gmail.com or you can just comment below. Thank you all for your support and happy trails till next time. Oh, and please click that subscribe button. Thank you.